Hey amigas, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you have not yet, be sure to subscribe. You can also hit the notification bell down below so you guys can get notified every single time I upload a new video. Amigas, today we are doing this beat that I got going on right here. Yes, girl, and let me tell you, it is all one size beauty. So I did receive a box if you guys didn't see on my instagram i posted a video on my stories that i received a big old box full of one size items so first of all thank you so much to patrick star and the one size team for sending that over i am beyond excited i i'm not even gonna say too much because then i'll kind of like spill the tea but this is what she looking like this is the full complexion everything using one size beauty so if you guys have been thinking like hey i kind of been wanting to try out one size beauty but i don't even know is it good is it not you have come to the right place because girl you know i will always be real with you all righty amigas, guys y'all ready let's get to it Dude, I am so like excited right now to be trying out all these goodies. And I'm like, I leave them all in front of me and I'm just like, whoa. I'm gonna start off, of course, con primer. This is called the Secure the Blur Makeup Magnet Primer. And this is what she looks like. It comes like in a little tube. Well, not so little. It's a pretty big tube. And let's do this. Here's what she looks like and that's the consistency. Ooh, nice and soft. Let's put that all over my face. Oh, it's a lot more thin than I thought. Supuestamente, this is the trick to making the makeup last and stay put. It feels really nice. I know the consistency look a little bit thick when I poured it out, but it really does melt into your skin. And I'm all smelling it because you know what? A lot of people had a problem with the scent I don't see anything wrong with it. Like there's nothing in specific that I can say it smells like. It does have a scent to it. I just don't know what it is. Next I would usually do the liquid foundation, but I don't have it today. We're actually gonna be using powder foundation. Since they're powder, I'm gonna go in with the concealer first. So here we have the Turn Up The Base Butter Silk Concealer. And some of the packaging is pink, some of it is red. I do have the shade Light 4 which is a neutral with rosy undertones. I'm loving the packaging so far, and it does have a doe foot applicator, which I love. So let's go ahead and put that right in the areas that I need. I'm gonna place that right here, right there. One dip is literally enough. Look at that. I'm gonna put the remainder on the lids and some up here and right there. I look crazy. Let's go ahead and blend this in and let's see what this concealer is all about because I've heard a lot of amazing things. Ooh, girl, that coverage? And I have no foundation on? This is just skin? O-M-G. Dude, no manches. That is coverage right there. I don't even need foundation. Concealer is gonna be enough. Like if it was the right shade, I would have literally put this all over my face. No lie, this concealer is really bomb. Up next, we got foundation. So we have turn up the base and I actually have two different shades. I'm gonna see which one matches me the most. So I do have medium one and medium five. And let's check out the packaging. <gasps> Pretty, look at the packaging. It is all red. Oh, it is so, so like luxurious. How cute. And then when you tap it, it has like a, a little slant right here so you know where to hold it down and where to pull it up. And I'm more than sure that he did that on purpose because he always has like long nails. So he thought about the nail girlies. Do you see this packaging? Look at how stunning she is. And it does have a mirror up on top. Let me open the other one just so we could see the difference. So these are the two shades that I have. I have medium one and medium five. And honestly, the only thing I could tell of the difference is that this one's neutral undertone and this one's more of a golden undertone. I'm gonna take my little puff and I believe I'm gonna try out medium five. I feel like since it has a golden undertone and I am tanned, I think it'll suit me the best. And let's give it a little swatch. <sighs> Whoa, okay, okay, hold on. Let me go back in with a neutral shade with a medium one. And let's put it right here and let's see the difference. You know what? I think medium one is gonna fit me right. I feel like the golden one is just a little bit, like a little bit more deeper, 
than this one so yeah let's go in with medium one dude this is insane this is a powder foundation okay so just think about it let's go ahead and add some to this side hopefully you don't see a big old patch right here where the other shade was no i think it did a really good job covering it up but dude i know you're looking at me apply this and you're shook too like i know that the medium five i think i'm gonna leave it for a summer shade i know it's summer right now but the sun is not completely out like it's still cold outside for some reason and i haven't gotten my full tan but when i do i know this one's gonna hit and honestly the finish to it it is so pretty if you were looking into like a full coverage powder foundation i got you girl this is where it's at dude honestly my base looks flawless like extremely covered up now let's brighten things up and for that i am going to use the ultimate setting powder i'm going to go in with the sheet translucent this one i've already been using and love like it's a really good setting powder and it helps make my makeup last all day not only that but it gives me a very smooth and flawless finish i mean i don't even know how much flawless can we get than this but i guess we're gonna find out smooth it out in the back of my hand just like that and let's see where this takes us i like to actually put it all over my face like i tap this thing all over and then i go in with the second coat after i'm done with my bronzing and blush just so i can cut it in i once saw patrick star covering his whole face in the setting powder so i started doing it too let me tell you it works wonders and then just brush it off you guys are going to see how much it's going to brighten things up around here. Every time I use this setting powder, my face literally looks like I have a filter on. Like, it looks so smooth and seamless, and you can't even tell, like, my texture. And that is where it gets me. I'm just shook right now that I'm not wearing any liquid foundation. Now, let's add some color to my face. And for that, I'm going to use the One Size Made for Shade Bronze and Sculpt Duo. I'm freaking excited for this one like super beyond excited i love bronze i love contour that's literally one of my favorite steps of makeup it's the bronzing and the blush i mean i also like the brightening and the foundation i mean i love everything about makeup to be honest at this point but let's go in with this so here she is it has the same type of packaging as the pressed powder foundation but this one's longer and you're gonna see why it is actually a bronze trio so it has three different shades the one on top is called the fix then we have low key and drag for filth i'm loving that all of these components do have a mirror so there is no need for me to take a handheld mirror or worry about like if i'm on the go i can look at myself while i use each and every one of these products and i want you guys to really look at this detail on the bronzers they do have like a little imprint it looks like a little face with a star on the eye kind of like it's winking omg i just thought about it why does it have a star on the eye patrick star <gasps> That makes sense. I'm going to swatch these out because I don't know exactly which shade I want to go with. Oh, they feel buttery and soft and smooth. And those are the three. Honestly, all three will fit me nice. Let's take the shade The Fix. And, oh, I went a little bit too crazy on that. <laughs> I mean, I swatched it out and I saw the pigmentation, but geez, girl. Let me take the shade low key and let's see where that one takes me okay that one's better watch low key right there i'm just gonna mix both of them up because i like the warmness to the second shade but i like the deepness to the first one and even though it is super pigmented it blends out like butter super smooth and i feel like it's the combination not only of the bronzer but tambien of the powder the pressed powder foundation it does a really good job just like combining into each other let's not forget about the chin girl we gotta sculpt that too i'm going back in with that brush that i use like to set my face and i'm gonna go in the areas that i want to keep bright just like in the center of my face just like that and just blend everything out dude this looks so good okay okay let's add some dude patrick star literally made a song for the campaign of the cheek clapper and i thought it was the most 
badass thing I've ever seen. But every single time that I think of the cheek clapper, I think of the song and I'm like, cheek clapper, cheek, cheek clapper. So we have three different shades of cheek clapper. Let's open them all up and let's see which one I'm gonna use. Oh, this one's pink. Okay, perfect because then I know when it's in my vanity, I know the difference between the bronzing trio and the cheek clapper. Like I don't have to read the back of it to know which one it is. Like visually you can tell. This first cheek clapper that I have is called Very Fat. And when you open her up, this is what she looks like. Oh my God. Here's what she looks like and she is absolutely stunning. So as you guys can see, it does have a cream blush. It has a matte blush and then it has a shimmer blush. For 2023, honestly, this is the best thing ever. Why? Because everyone's into cream blushes and then adding their powder blushes on top. So this is all in one. I flipped it upside down so you guys can really see the detailing on this and it does have a lid to it for the cream blush just so it doesn't dry down and I felt like that is genius. This second one is called Freaky Peach and this is what she looking like. Oh my I love peachy blushes. <gasps> Miren no mas. How pretty these tones look. And I'm going to actually put it side by side with the first one just so you guys can see the difference because I feel like on camera they kind of look similar. So let me put them side by side in comparison. This one's very that and this one's freaky peach. The third one we have here is called Rich Betch. Oh, I like that. Rich Betch. There are the tones to this. This is more of a berry tone palette. This very much gives me cell phone vibes like razor. If you grew up with razor phones you know what i'm talking about like hi patrick star oh my god patrick starts calling me yeah i'm trying out one size beauty right now and then when you wanted to click on people you were just like and that's it dude these trios are so pretty but you know which one's catching my attention it's definitely gonna be freaky peach I'm gonna begin by taking the cream blush and it's called rump shaker yes girl rump shaker like your butt shake that rump let's go ahead and tap some oh right there jeez girl you ain't playing no games dude no motherfucking games and remember that i'm wearing nothing but powdered products and just the fact that this is blending seamlessly into the powder products and there's no sign of patchiness whatsoever it just keeps getting better and better wow i'm gonna take the shade freaky right okay yeah freaky which is the matte blush and let's Sir, I don't even know what to do with my life right now. This is crazy. Tell me, what am I gonna do with this right now? Like, why didn't people warn me that I needed the smallest little dab ever because this is insane pigment. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna tone it down. And remember that I told you guys that I actually apply setting powder twice. So once all over my face and then once after I'm done with the bronzing and the blush. And that is because things like this happen. Okay, now let's go in with that ultimate setting powder, the translucent one. And I'm only going to add it to the areas that I want to keep brined up, which are on the sides of my nose right here. And then I'm also going to like brush it downwards because I don't want a harsh line right there. Dude, makeup is really a freaking journey. You have to trust the process because if you guys open up one of my makeup videos and you guys see me looking like this, you're gonna be like, what the hell is going on? Okay, girl, this is what she's looking like so far. I'm gonna do the eyes off camera because I don't have any eyeshadow palettes to play with. So I'm gonna do that and I'll come back so we can finish off with the lippy. Alrighty, amigas, I am back. I did my eyes and I also put down my hair. This is what she looking like, dude. The cheeks, I try to tone them down as much as I could, but to be honest, they were not going away. They're just going to stay nice and rosy, which is fine. That could be like the center point of the attention of the face. At all, we are going to finish off this look with a lippy. So we're going to go in with the lip pencil, or as I would call it, the lip snatcher. And this one's in the shade Out of Line. Ooh, and it is a wooden lip pencil, which I love. So let's go ahead and put that. This is super cute. I am loving this shade. To fill in the lips, I do have three different options, which, no, actually I have four. 
options, which are these right here. And I'm gonna look to see which one. I feel like this one would match. These are more like brown tones. We have Be About It and Joella Puss. Oh my God, that's funny. Okay, so I think, let me swatch this one out. I feel like I would really like this one for this look. Oh, MG, this tone. I knew I was gonna like it just by looking at the vanity. This is a beautiful nude tone. <gasps> oh, I'm loving that. Okay, let's put that all over my lip. And let's see where we go with this. Wow. Okay, this is more of the brown tones. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more pinky, but we could definitely make it work. Or you know what? I might just add, let me add Joella Puss. Okay, that's what she's looking like, but I think I am gonna go in with a gloss because I mean, why not? Oh, just some glitter to it. Okay, the sparkle. Oh, she really took it there. Like that just, oh. All right, Emmy guys, I am digging the look. Now let's lock it into place. I do not wanna go in anywhere. So for that, I am gonna use the Until Dawn setting spray. I have used it. Um, actually, when we're at Brow Search, my amiga Ivan was the one who put me on. He bought me a little mini one. Dude, I went through that thing so quickly, and I'm so glad that I got a full-sized one because this is going to last me a week. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> like, when I tell you I use this thing and my makeup goes nowhere, dude, I will sweat. I can get wet. I can do anything, and this will help my makeup just stay put and go nowhere. So let's go. Mm. And you know what I love about this? Oh, now my lash is sticking. One thing that I love about the setting spray, not only that it makes your makeup last all day, but it's the mist. That got me. The first time that I sprayed it on, I was like, wait a minute. This kind of feels like hairspray on my face. Like, legit. I cannot explain it any other way, but it feels like hairspray on your face. It feels nice. It feels dry. It doesn't feel all wet, so you don't have to sit there and dry out the setting spray. Pero, amigas, this is the final look using a full face of one size beauty. I need to know what y'all think about this. Like, look at my complexion, look at my lippy. Just look at everything and let me know your thoughts on this. Let me bring you guys a little close up. Like, you guys really need to look at this complexion, at this lippy, just at all the details because this is a freaking beat. Honestly, I'm obsessed with this beat. I'm obsessed with all the products that I just tried out. It was not one product that I was like, eh, it's like whatever. No, dude, all of them came through. They all shook me. I mean, I feel like I was the most surprised with the powder foundation because the pigmentation and the coverage on it and the cheek clapper. Dude, I did not expect that much freaking pigment out of that thing. Like I barely tapped into it and bam, like I'm still rosy. Even though I put like two layers of setting powder over it, I'm still blushing. But on me guys, we have come down to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching another review. And if you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Do not forget to follow me on all my social medias. You guys can find me at Alma Rivera Beauty on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Do not leave my channel before subscribing, girl. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.